What's up everybody? No, these aren't real. I found these, I was cleaning out my car the other day. I have this big Toyota Sequoia and these were under the third row of seats. I got no clue how they got there. I never bought these to my memory. I've had that car for three years, but it is an 03 model. So who knows how long they've been there, where they came from. But I thought they were really neat. And I'm gonna use them later in the video as a prop, like I kind of just did. So anyway, um, Guys, here's what's going on. There's a lot going on in this video. I'm trying not to block your view with my head because there is potentially something of interest up here. And I've angled the phone three different ways, three different times because it seems to be moving. Or I might just be telling you that. I had to make notes. This is gonna be a total blow your mind video with what we've got going on. This is like an interactive video like many of them are when I give you instructions and I say, type this or type that or don't say where or when. Listen, <clears throat> here's where the teeth come in handy. I've been accused of doing something I've not done. So I, I've actually done it in this video. I'm gonna tell you what it is I did and it's your job to find it. While we will also be appeasing the people who say I'm supposed to be homesteading because it's a homesteading channel, or at least the word is in the title. And all this is being done off the grid because there's no electricity up here. Now, <clears throat> Wow, that crazy lake. We know if you just stuff in dark objects like a maybe a black flannel shirt, sticking it out there in the woods, acting like it's a daggone Bigfoot Sasquatch. We know it ain't. That's just more of your Tom Foolery. Pure Tom Foolery. So, what I've done is I've made this accusation a self-fulfilling prophecy today and we're going to be homesteading because I'm trying to a to avoid another another self-fulfilling prophecy from being self-fulfilled I'm going to show you something you must always do if you ever harvest anything from the potential Bigfoot Sasquatch forest because that's my cat Cleopatra okay that's not um, a chupacabra or like a baby Bigfoot Sasquatch. And no, it wasn't my cat Cleopatra crawling in the field the other day. The creepy crawlies? Okay, let's address the creepy crawlies. If I, if, if I could say for certain what it was, I would tell you, but I can't. But I will address what a lot of folks said it was. Well, I'm not a crazy lake. Everyone knows that just a badger. I live in Virginia. Google badgers and look and see where they live. There's not a badger within 1,500 miles of me. Wow, man, that just means that's just a fisher cat or a cat fisher. Google that. Closest one, 3,000 miles from me. No, it wasn't my cat, Cleopatra. Are you sure about that crazy leg? Yes. <clears throat> Sorry. How could you just let that thing eat your cat at your 11 minute and 4 second mark? Crazy. There's my cat. Back there somewhere. Nobody, nothing ate her. Okay, so I stuffed a black object and put it behind me, okay? This is the first time I've done this and I'm doing it. Let's see how, how, much you, how, how well you can pick it out. Now listen, I'm trying to keep that sun from, look at all the dark objects. I want you to pay particular note to a couple of things here when you're trying to figure out where it is the thing that I stuffed in place there. It's important. Pay attention to its height from the ground. Pay attention to its particular movement. Is it swaying in the breeze? Okay, try to find like a reference point. Maybe some leaves. Uh, is it up in a tree? Is it stationary? Now pay especially close attention to this. Does it seem to be peeking in and out from behind a tree? Like, potentially, what I just potentially saw peeking out. Did you hear that? That was a freaking... That's not a cat. That's not my cat. Call me what you will, accuse me of what you will. I know right now I am potentially being watched. You hear that? And that's why we're going to do the homesteading thing we're doing. I'm going to cut straight to the point now. So focus on that. And also note this, birds and leaves. 
Somebody said that if there is a clan of Bigfoot Sasquatch out here, they are probably having a heck of a good time watching me. Maybe that's them laughing. Okay, birds and leaves. If you think you see a bird or a leaf moving, I want you to tell, think in your mind just how do leaves fall and how do birds fly. Think about direction and speed and can either just disappear in mid-flight or in mid-fall mid -fall from out of nowhere. Okay, so keep all those things in mind. Now, I got to show you what I found yesterday because it led to a dream in which Bigfoot Sasquatch visited me, not telepathically, and I, I know the difference. It was, it was all a dream, but the dream gave me a good idea about something I better be doing up here. I don't need this yet. Hold on. Let me get my little bag of goodies. Okay, so here's what's going on. The weather's finally getting good. It's warming up, and I've got hundreds and hundreds of little eastern red cedar trees in my fields. Which, by the way, eastern red cedar trees are not trees. They're shrubs. But I'm transferring a, a bunch of them. I did almost two dozen yesterday. It's, oh, it's so hard work. Um, so anyway, I'm harvesting them from what I call my field. But as everyone knows, Bigfoot Sasquatch was here first. So it's his, her, it, she, they, or its field. And so I thought... Can I really take something from the potential Bigfoot Sasquatch without giving back? No, I must give back. I'm thinking that, I'm thinking that. And then I dug up a, tr a bush, and let me show you what I found. A lot of folks had said they would like to come here with a metal detector. I'm gonna get a metal detector and see what we find here, but look what I found yesterday. This is not a ball of dirt. This, as you can see here where I started to scrape it, this is metallic and it's round. And a lot of folks, you know, you know, I'm in Central Virginia and they've said, oh, you probably got like Civil War artifacts around there. Yeah, that, that's not dirt. Um, this is too big to be a shot from a musket, like, like a 40, 45 or 50 caliber musket. And it's too small to be a cannonball. And it was under the root system of, a, of an eastern red cedar. Now, these eastern red cedars in these fields have been getting chopped down for many, many years from this guy that used to take the hay here. But they, now they're growing up becoming trees, so I don't know how long those shrubs were there. But this was underneath one of them for many, many years. What is this? Could this potentially be uh, like, a, like a shot ball from a potential Bigfoot Sasquatch rifle from a potential Bigfoot Sasquatch battle or war from many, many years ago? Because if you think about it, think about um, size. The relativity of size in comparison, okay, if Bigfoot Sasquatch is eight or nine feet tall and, you know, the average American man's five, nine to six, one or something, and think about the size of the weaponry, the size of everything, and then put it in relation to the size of something or somebody that's eight or nine feet tall, wouldn't it make sense that this is like a shot from a potential Bigfoot Sasquatch muzzle-loading muzzle rifle? So that's just kind of what I'm thinking. So I found this yesterday, fell asleep on the couch, had a nap, and then I had this dream. Bigfoot Sasquatch came to me in my dream. This was not telepathic. Here's how I know. You remember I made a video about a month ago? <sighs> Scared the life out of me. That's my cat. My little... There it is. Where'd she go? <gasps> She's at back there somewhere. Where you? Oh, there she is. <gasps> She's so stealthy. She's... She... Keep your eyes open, girl. You look for Bigfoot Sasquatch, huh? Okay, so anyway. Okay, when Bigfoot Sasquatch potentially comes to me, potentially, the potential Bigfoot Sasquatch, telepathically, it's got this very androgynously angelic voice. What's that mean, Androg androgynous angel? Okay, think of Olivia Newton-John and maybe... Davy Jones from the Monkees. You remember that guy? You remember the Monkees? If not, you're too young. Google it. Listen to it. If you were to combine the voices of Olivia Newton-John and Davy Jones of the Monkees, that would be androgynously angelic. And in my mind, when I kind of think maybe Bigfoot Sasquatch is telecommunicating with me, that's what I hear. So I know that in the dream, it wasn't actually Bigfoot Sasquatch sending me a message. It was merely a dream because Bigfoot Sasquatch sounded like this. 
I'll have crazy lakes. What do you think you're doing digging up my threads? and taking them, putting them on a, down there on your daggone privacy heads without giving me nothing back in return. Why, you gonna come face to face with me, boy. I'm gonna rip your leg off and beat you over the head with it, boy. Unless you give me something back for what you're taking. And I woke up, I was like, ah! Oh my God. Guys, this, I did not stuff this. This is not anything I put in this screenshot back here. Let me see if I'm getting it in the frame, yeah. So anyway, I thought if I'm gonna dig up potential Bigfoot Sasquatches, Eastern Red Cedars, I need to be replacing them with something. So I decided I would plant some of Meemaw's super duper extra sweet sweet corn. So we're gonna do some homesteading now. So the people who say I should do that all the time because it's a homesteading channel, you're gonna be satisfied and pleased right now gotta wear safety gear when you're dealing with stuff like this. These Eastern Red Cedars, they're prickly, so I'm gonna wear gloves too. Safety first, always. Don't do, don't do anything that you could get hurt unless you're doing it safely. Do it slowly now. Right there where my shovel is, that's why I put it there. I'm gonna show you how to dig up a, a, a small Eastern Red Cedar, capture the entire root ball so you can safely transfer it, and then we're gonna replace it with our super duper extra sweet, sweet corn for the potential Bigfoot Sasquatch that lives in this forest. Watch and learn. Okay, see how easy that was? But I want to point out a couple of key things. The root ball on an eastern red cedar will extend out as far as what's known as the drip line. The drip line, okay, when it rains, the branches catch the rain, collect the rain, and then it drips down slowly. And that line right here, if you can imagine a line, is called the drip line. So you come straight down from the farthest outstretching branches and you know you've captured the entire root ball. See if that one thing's back over there. Let's go like that, okay? Now, if you really want to learn about that, that's fine, pay close attention, but also focus back here. And remember, see if you can find the black item I stuffed to put back here, okay? Because you're gonna be winner, winner, chicken dinner if you win. I'm gonna tell you where it is. I'm finally gonna come clean and confess the truth about this mysterious dark object in the forest behind me, okay? And it's gonna blow your mind, especially those of you who saw the black things moving in and out, and peeking, you saying, how did he do that? How did he make it look just like a potential Bigfoot Sasquatch peeking in and out behind that tree? Maybe he's not as crazy as we think. Your mind's gonna be blown. So anyway, get the whole root ball and then insert it in the ground in your new hole, just like this. Eastern red cedars grow relatively quickly once they've taken root. And as long as you get the entire root ball like this, it's already rooted. It's just gonna be grown in a new spot. So, spread them out up to about two feet apart. They're gonna grow quite well, give you a nice privacy hedge. Um, now, we're doing that down there. I did almost two dozen yesterday. But here's what I didn't do, what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna show you how to plant Meemaw's super duper extra, extra sweet corn, okay? You need a can of sweet corn, okay? Get that. And take my gloves off for this and again this isn't so much about watching me you sillies it's about watching what's in the background why wow, crazy like we know there ain't nothing in the background you sure about that keep watching player so you pop the top i love the smell of this stuff mm, smell that oh doesn't that smell good 
Now, if you actually just smell that, slap yourself. And I know you did because you admitted to smelling the deodorant when I did the deodorant scene the other day in the pond. So, simply take your sweet corn, you plant it in the hole where you just took p p potential Bigfoot Sasquatch tree. So he, she, it, or they do not feel as if they've been robbed, okay? Why, wow, crazy Luke, that ain't how you plant me malt extra super duper sweet, sweet corn. Of course not. It's just sweet corn. You've got to add brown sugar to make it extra sweet. That's enough. All right, and there you have it, folks. Now, I'm gonna, guys, again, call me crazy, but I've been seeing something over here. Seems to have moved again, so I'm gonna turn away from the phone so we can close. And maybe get another glimpse of what I think I'm seeing. So, do you think you earned a gold star today? I made this. I usually pride myself on freehanding my objects. I'm not so proud of this one. But do you think you spotted the, the dark object that I stuffed and put behind me so that it would look like there's a potential Bigfoot Sasquatch back there? Well, here comes the answer. I'm gonna show you where it is. I'm gonna tell you what it was. But I want you to ask yourselves these questions first before I do, before I reveal it. That thing you saw that you were convinced was it that I put there that I didn't, what was that? What in the holy name of all things holy was that? And how did it move in and out from behind the tree like that when that wasn't put there by me? The dark object that I stuffed, that I put behind me in this video, was that black It was the black garbage bag that had my goodies in it, my supplies to show you the homesteading thing about planting the extra super duper sweet, sweet corn. That was the black item. So all those other things that you saw that made you think, aha, that's potentially a Bigfoot Sasquatch, but I bet you that's what he put there. It's not what I put there. So, players, you, the whole time thinking you were safe, the whole time thinking you were seeing a prop, were potentially seeing a potential Bigfoot Sasquatch. Creepy, huh?